And as I recall, it was Irving Marcus that had uh, mentioned, like, oh, by the way, you know, there's this little gallery, and I'm sure she'd love to show the work. I've mentioned you guys both to her, and she was amenable and so on. What Irving said was, <laughs> he said, there's a really interesting, curious art, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and she is going to call you. We didn't want to make any real commitment at the time, but she was really um, pressuring over the phone and saying, well, you know, I could drive into Sacramento and pick you up and, you know, take you to the gallery and, and you can see what it's like. And then if you don't like it, we can turn around and, and back it. And you could bring a few works too. And if you don't like the gallery, we could take them back. So I had two works and, and this woman pulls up and she had this old Borg ward, which I had never heard of what this car was. It was a Borg ward. And it was um, not in the best of repair. So in any case, we, I got my two watercolors, framed watercolors, and we got in the car and she's driving out to, to, to Folsom. <laughs> and, and I become aware of the fact that I'm, I think I'm seeing the road <laughs> going by <laughs> because there was a hole in the floor on the passenger side. And yeah, I thought, oh, that's, uh, you know, gee, that's interesting. So we get out to the candy store, and it's, of course, it's, it's charming, and it's wonderful, and, and she's showing good stuff, and of course, I'm, you know, leaving my things there, and then she's going to turn around and drive me back without my things to Sacramento. But uh, in any case, I, I, I recall that, that it wasn't too long after we had dropped, I had dropped my work off and got back home that, you know, she called and had sold the, the pieces and, you know, might have had a little bitty check in hand. I don't know how she did it, but she did take people, because there were lots of people that, that wandered into the, because of the nature of the street that she was on, this historical street in Folsom, and the word candy store, you know, assuming that she was selling candy. And she quite often got these people interested in, in these were people that had never been uh, particularly interested in, you know, in art or focused, that s slowly would become collectors. She just put the artists first and foremost. She loved the work. She really massaged people, <laughs> politely said, uh, that would come into the gallery looking for candy, perhaps, had never been in there before, into taking a work home to live with it, to see how it felt, to sell it. She developed more um, uh, clients in, in that manner, and she just loved the work and uh, put, put the artist uh, first and foremost, which um, doesn't always happen with a, a lot of dealers that one might run into. It was just amazing how uh, how much it became a part of you more than just a place to to hang something on a wall. I mean, she was just the most amazing person. I mean, thinking of uh, this little woman <laughs> sitting and rocking and so on and. Um, looking and thinking about art. It was her intensity that was just amazing about how, you know, just all-consuming it was for her.